Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. Now that I have everything on the table, it looks like it's a smaller haul. Um, I didn't mean to, it's just I grabbed the stuff that I needed for this week's groceries and I guess this is the size of it. We do have a couple new items though, two that I'm really excited for. So there will be a taste test video um, after this one. So let's get right into it. So first up, I don't know what, but I am craving some carne asada. I love Trader Joe's. So we're gonna grill this up this weekend and I'm gonna make some homemade salsa and guacamole. We need some limes for that. I'm gonna make some homemade refried beans as well too. I cannot wait for this dinner. The kids have got to have their favorite french fries, the handsome cut potatoes over here. Some cheese, I still need to go to Costco. I was supposed to go a couple days ago, but the kids came down. Tristan has an ear infection, so he's been home, so I have not been able to go to the store. Uh, we grabbed Kerrygold Doubler Cheese. I usually grab the big one of these at Costco. We grabbed a thing of sour cream over here, some organic cut and peeled carrots, two things of refried beans. I just like to have these in the pantry if I need them. I wanted them the other day and we didn't have any, I realized, so, but I will be making some homemade ones for that carne asada this weekend. We needed some great tomatoes, so I grabbed that, as well as a cucumber over here and some organic celery. I also grabbed a thing of the uh, fire roasted diced green chilies. This is another item that I like to keep in the cupboard and I used my last one this week. Over here, I grabbed some of the Indian style flatbread. I like the garlic flavored one. So what we're gonna do with this this week is we're gonna do some BLT pizzas on here. I know it sounds kind of weird. I remember having a BLT pizza a long time ago and it was actually really good. It sounded disgusting, like lettuce on a pizza, but it was really good. So we're gonna try making that and I'm just gonna put that on here instead of making like a pizza dough. We also got some red seedless grapes over here. They also have the cotton candy grapes. If you guys like that one, those ones are stores right now I'm not a huge fan though so I just picked up the red seedless ones over here the bread for the week sourdough it's our favorite and then this is one of my favorites as well too the Mexican style roasted corn with cojita cheese so good I think I'm gonna add some of this in my salad this week I'm gonna make like a Mexican style salad with this, some of this with some black beans really good because I still have some of that cilantro dressing that I picked up last week. I still have a little bit of that left so I'll probably top that on top of my salads this week. I also grabbed my favorite feta over here, the crumbled feta with Mediterranean and herbs. And then over here we grabbed some pasture raised large brown eggs just because I have not been able to get to Costco. Hopefully either Sunday or Monday I will be going but this will hold us over until then. And then over here, this was an impulse buy. I'm not sure if I've had this before or not, but it looks really good for like a frozen pizza. This one is the wood-fired Naples style uncured pepperoni pizza, yum. So that's just gonna be an easy lunch or dinner probably for this weekend. And then now we are onto our first new item. These are, these look delicious. So these are the all butter shortbread sandwich cookies. It's with a raspberry filling and flavored with other natural flavors. I wouldn't be advertising that there's natural flavors in here personally, um, but they look good. Let's look at these nutrition facts. Okay, so there we go. Those are the nutrition facts for you and the ingredients. Okay, so we've just got the whole line of new items over here. This is the other one that I'm most excited for. So this one is the strawberries and cream gelato. So this has a vanilla bean and strawberry with candied strawberry pieces. That looks good. I just love this packaging too. It looks so cute. Okay, so here's the nutrition facts. Contains milk, wheat, and coconut, and then may contain a bunch more too. So look out for that if you guys have any allergies. And there we go. Okay, so I swear there is like a new pasta and a new ice cream every week. That is what I feel like. This week's new pasta, we've got this one. This one seems completely different. This is new. So this is organic lemon, let me try to pronounce this, torcherietti pasta. Ooh, I don't think I said that one right. But yeah, so lemon pasta. Hmm, I have never had anything like that before. I wonder if it's very flavorful, lemon flavored. I'm not sure but we will let you guys know in the taste test video. Over here, I just grabbed some of the gluten-free uh, buttermilk pancake and waffle mix. So good, this is one of our favorites to make on the weekends. Kristen loves this one, it's allergy friendly, and then so do the rest of us too, we all eat it. 
And then this is the last new item this week. I've been looking for this one for a while. This one is the olive and basil pesto sauce. I love a good pesto sauce. Trader Joe's has a couple of different ones that you can choose from. They've got variety, so we will add this one to the list. Let's see what this one tastes like. So it contains milk, almonds, pine nut, walnut, and then may contain peanut as well too. Oh, that's not great. I don't like to see that. Tristan can't have peanuts. I mean, he doesn't really like basil pesto anyways but still, okay, so there we go. I might pair that with the uh, noodles down there. I'm definitely gonna try both of them by themselves, and if I think they'll go together, I might add a little bit in there. We'll see how the taste test video goes. This was another impulse buy. I don't think I've ever purchased this either before, but this just looked really good for some reason, especially with my coffee in the morning. So these are the Stroop Waffle Minis, caramel flavor. It's a soft toasted waffle filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. I read that description and I was like, wow, I cannot pass that up. That just looks so good. So definitely excited to try those. I'm Like I said, I've had Stroop waffles before, but I don't think I've had those specific ones. So definitely excited for that tomorrow morning with my coffee. And then last but not least, I just grabbed some enchilada sauce for a dinner this week. So yeah, definitely a small haul this week, but I think there was what, four new items. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope to see you guys in the taste test video. Bye.